Hi everyone, in this video I want to show uh, my uh, experience how I removed uh, glue down cork flooring from the wood subfloor. I did it for the first time and uh, for me it was a uh, very new job. So before uh, somebody did it, now I try to do it by myself. So for this uh, uh, job I use a rotary hammer, DeWalt, 20 volts, cordless, it's really nice tools, I already showed a few videos uh, uh, when I use this tool. Uh, also, I wondering what kind of a blade, um, chisel blade I can use for this hammer and I uh, try to find out it on Amazon and here is the uh, a very wide blade it's the widest blade what i found and this blade was uh, uh, with some angle uh, which has helped me to chisel it uh, cork very well so uh, this uh, uh, blade i compare with another few blades and uh, this is the cheapest one what i found and uh, if you see how it's work, it's work really really well what I would highly recommend you if you want to do the same things also you can remove tile uh, ceramic tiles as well you see uh, how it's work uh, I use uh, four batteries uh, uh, five uh, amps for this tool and uh, it was uh, good enough uh, just one battery is charged another one I'm using so you see the white spot on the uh, floor, this is the wood subfloor. Uh, dark spots, this is the plani patch, what the previous installers put over the floor. So when I removed all uh, cork, all cork, cork, cork flooring, you see there is a lot of imperfection. And also when I check the level, level was not so good but customers said no I don't want to spend extra money for to do leveling I want to uh, repeat it as it is so in this case I did uh, uh, patching so I use plenty patch and uh, uh, you see I just uh, add uh, plenty patch uh, uh, acrylic this acrylic uh, we always add uh, for better bonding with subfloor uh, it's something different with primer what we're using for self-leveling compound because when you uh, using self-leveling compound you always put primer uh, first to the subfloor and then when it's dry you put a self-leveling compound over but here need to add uh, this uh, acrylic to the uh, plenty patch mix so when uh, mix it you see what its uh, condition should be like uh, sour, sour, sour cream then <coughs> uh, with white uh, travel flat travel so I'm just uh, uh, patch its whole floor why need to apply this plenty patch because uh, when you uh, glue it cork uh, to sub floor if some uh, big uh, uh, deep spot or high spot so i mean uh, uh, all imperf imperfection you can uh, it, it will be vi very visible so on your final uh, drop you know so in this case need to make floor as uh, as much uh, flat as you can uh, i did this um, patching two times because after first time when i finish patch some spots still left and i repatch this area one more time so uh, for all this area it's around 400 square feet i spent uh, approximately one full bag uh, 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 plenty patch plenty patch dry very fast so when i uh, finish uh, by this doorway it's already most of places was uh, dry uh, usually it's take around two hours so another thing what i want to explain you i didn't uh, i don't want to show you uh, in this video how i did uh, uh, whole installation because i already 
made a few videos how to do uh, glue down cork flooring if you have a plan to install glue down cork flooring i highly recommend watch this video because uh, i explain everything what kind of glue you have to use how to apply glue to the cork and to the subfloor how to use the roller uh, if you uh, how to fill up the gaps if you have some gaps between uh, uh, cork flooring pieces and also how to apply uh, uh, finish uh, with hardener uh, over the subfloor so this is a very special video and uh, it's it's good instruction so i hope it's helped to you you see this is what in this video i'm just put uh, uh, on back side of cork uh, uh, glue this is the stairs which looks nice this is just i put finish application first application this is the already final job so i'm guessing you see the big difference if you have any question ask me don't hesitate and i, I always answer you see you on next video